Hey guys, I, <clears throat> I really need to show you this problem with this Toshiba VCR DVD combo. Um, I, um, since like July of 2019 at least, almost three years ago, it's been having this, um, weird overheating issue where, I'll show you where most of the overheating occurs. Flip it over, it occurs right in this square right here. Right here. Of course it goes a little over here because where the VCR side is, it's not really that warm over here on the DVD side. It's supposed to get like about this warm or a little less than this when you're playing a tape, but instead, now when you play a tape, it gets much hotter than this. It like gets so hot that at the beginning of certain tapes, and, and I'm going to tell you this right now, not every single tape is going to do this. Thank God, otherwise I would have been more pissed. Excuse my language, but like, right about right there. I don't want to get my finger too close to the sensor, but right about there. Or I'll just put the tape in and I'll show you where it does it. Press stop right away so it won't automatically play it, but like, you know, make like a grinding noise and like right about there. Oh, I'll have to turn my flashlight on for this, but like, right about there. Right about there. By that guide right there in the pinch reel and the capstan. It'll like give it, you know, that crisp damage it gives it. It'll like cause the tape to get crisped at the beginning of the tape. If it's if it is this if it's that hot, which is really stupid, in my opinion. It the first time I remember it did it was like July twenty first two thousand nineteen. It did it to my like Ice Castles LP mode nine hundred eight VHS and uh, started playing. I watched all my videos using this VCR and it, it sounded. It sounded about the same up until like July 2019 when I like put it like I don't know how it happened, but I have a feeling that there's a hole in the heat sink down here somewhere. It's causing it to get overheated. And it probably just needs to be replaced. Also, not only that, I mean it's been having um some mode switch issues, but I will go ahead and say this right away. It's not eating tapes, but when you press rewind. It's not doing it now, but it's doing it fine now. But when it's a little higher than that, it'll like refuse to like rewind and it'll shut off, but it won't eat the tape. It can do a lot of strange things, but it will not eat the tape, though, which is a good thing. A very good thing. I'm glad it doesn't eat the tape. But it still kind of like makes me kind of mad. It started doing it in like January or February of 2021. Started doing it more and more and more the more I used it. You know, most of the time when you leave stuff sit around like these kind of units, when you leave them sit around and the most switch gets dirty, it starts to eat taste. But in this case, the more I used it, the more problems it developed, which I'm going to do this also. I'm going to take off the front cover there the front covers off right right about there between those two buttons right there that little white thing that white circle right there that's the mode switch I want to try to get like some a can of air and like spray it like Kind of air it out there. That just might help. I'll try to look, look around and see. Um, of course, leaving um these two things off will kind of help, help with the heat and kind of like reduce the heat, just reduce it from getting overheated and stuff. Yeah, that's a problem I know. The ejects like that. And, uh, 
this part where my hand is, it's a little bit hotter over here too. Just trying to look around. and That's the belt that drives the tape. I don't know if there is any heat sink in here. I don't know what's causing that this to get overheated, but some maybe some capacitor might have leaked or something, or some capacitor might have went bad. This machine's only uh, 12, 13 years old. It happened back in 2019 too. Like how could this possibly happen? Oh my god. There's the, this could be the issue too. Some, something in the, in the, in the power supply could be the issue too. Look at all the dust and brief dust in the DVD drive. There's a something, let me get it off. And it dropped. There are like, so let me uh, get, get them off quick, let me like, kind of like, I don't want to touch it in there, I get shocked in there, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the covers back on quick. Okay, I was, I was talking earlier and I thought I pressed record, I paused the video, but anyways, got the front cover back together and, um, Another thing I've noticed since July 26, 2021, I think I, I made a video on it right away. There was like a little uh, plastic piece, a little black plastic piece that like, I did not know this would have, this happened, but like, was going to happen in a while, but it like broke somehow off and it broke off and it caused the tape door, it used to always be like this, but now it's leaned out like this. But the tape door, it still, um, it still ejects and inserts tapes fine. And all it just end up like this because that plastic piece, um, right about there where that black thing is right there. Right about, I, I can't point it out, but like it's right at the end of the door right there on the left side and like, that piece is gone now, causing the tape door to shut like this. Remember, it's supposed to be like this, like all VCRs are like. It still has its own the spring in it and everything, but it just... Excuse me, and it like used to like sound a little bit different too. hear that? Hold on. Something sharp. Oh, man. Let me uh, rewind it. Hope it doesn't do it. Yeah, this machine still does work, except it has a weird overheating issue, like... It's not right, it's not supposed to get that hot. Everyone, please tell me in the comments what do you think could really be causing this. Because I really would like to know. Because the, if, when it's like that hot, the VCR also, another thing... It's like... When the tape is loading, it makes a loud squealing noise. It goes, it sounds like that, and it like makes a lot of squeaking, squealing noises. But when it's completely cooled down with the power off, when, or when it's special, when it's like unplugged completely, when I put a tape in, it sounds nice and quiet, like it's supposed to be. I can still use this thing, but it just gets too warm too hot inside.
Like, let me uh, feel it right now. It still feels about the same, but... Like I said, when you, like, play this whole entire tape from beginning to end, it'll just feel much higher than that. I don't know what the problem with this thing is, but please let me know in the comments. I'm going to end the video here. I'm about to run out of storage, too. I'm at 10 minutes. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.